Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ruchika welcoming all my grade 9 elite students to today's session. This session we are going to learn how to multiply polynomials. This is module 11 lesson 3 and our learning objective for today is to multiply binomials by using the distributive property and the FOIL method. FOIL method is a very interesting method as you see in the picture where we are going to multiply two binomials. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so let me introduce to you FOIL method which is used to multiply two binomials. In words, FOIL method is stated as follows. To multiply two binomials, you first find the sum of the products of F, the first terms, O, the out i the inner terms and l the last term so this is called the full form of foil so f o i l so f you mean the product of first terms of the binomial o means product of outer terms of the binomial i means product of inner terms of the binomial and finally L means product of last terms of the binomial. So this method FOIL is very useful. Let me show you a example how to use this method to multiply binomials. As you see in the video, this FOIL method is used to multiply two binomials. That is, you have number 1, number 2, number 3 and number 4. So, two two terms in each of the binomial. Now, how we are going to multiply using FOIL? It's a very interesting and good method. So, pay attention. F O I L. So, F stands for first terms. O stands for outer terms, I stands for inner terms and L stands for last terms. And because we are doing multiplication, we are going to take the product of the first terms, the product of the outer terms, the product of the inner terms and finally the product of last terms. After we get this product, as you will see in this example, we are going to add everything to get our final answer. So let's see the first binomial. The first binomial is 3x plus 5. This is the first binomial. Why binomial? Because it has two terms. So this is the first binomial or maybe I write 1. The second binomial is 2x plus 3. So whenever you are multiplying, whenever you are taking the product of two binomials, this method helps you. So F stands for product of first term. So 3x will be multiplied with 2x. These are the first terms. So the first term of the first binomial and the first term of the second binomial. So 3x is multiplied with 2x. So what will you get? 3 multiplied with 3, number with number 6, x with x is x2. So that's your product of first term. Now let's take the product of outer terms. So I'm going to change color. So for outer terms, you have the outside term of the first and the outside term of the second. So 3x multiplied with 3. So how much? 3 with 3, 9x. Now Product of inner terms, so I'm going to choose purple color here. The inner is the inside terms, remember. So the inside term of the first binomial is 5 and the inside term of the second binomial is 2x. So 5 multiplied with 2x, that is 10x. Last but not the least, we have the last term. So the last or the second term of the first binomial with the last term of the second binomial. So 5 multiplied with 3, that is 15. Now you finally add all the terms. That means I'm going to add 6x square with 9x with 10x with 15. Now out of this 9 and 9x and 8, 10x are like terms. So they can be added to give you 
19x. So the final answer from FOIL method would be 6x square plus 19x plus 15. So this is the multiplication of these binomial using FOIL method. Let's take another example. F is the first term. So 2x with 5x is going to give you 2 multiplied with 5, 10. A multiplied with A, A square. Then you have your O, which is outside. So 2A with 3, that is giving you 6A. Inside terms, that is 12 with 5, that is going to give you minus 60A. And the last terms, which is minus 12 and 3, which is going to give you minus 36. Now, these two are like terms. So 6A minus 60A is minus 54A. Combine together and you get your answer as 10A square minus 54A minus 36. So product of the first terms. What is the first term of the first binomial? X. What is the first term of the second binomial? 4X. Let's fill these boxes and then we'll multiply. Okay, product of outer terms. The outer term is the outside term. So outside it is X and minus 8. So X with minus 8. Inner terms, let me change color, is the inside term. So 7 with 4x. And last terms means the last term of both of them. So the last term here is 7. Here it is minus 8. So now let's multiply. 4x with x is x square. Minus 8x. 7 with 4 is 28x. 7 with minus 8 is minus 56. Now you just need to add them all. So 4x square minus 8x plus 28x minus 56. Now like terms will be combined to give you 4x square plus 20x minus 56 as the answer. Now that you've understood the FOIL method, I want you to be in groups and do this practice. Question 1 to 12, each group is going to do two questions and you will have a timer of 10 minutes to complete this exercise. So practice FOIL method and see you in my next video.